Welcome back with Hidden Oaks. We're back outside in the garden today. For those of you who have been following our channel for a little bit, you know that we are in Florida. We do have a very long growing season, which is nice. Or, well, we have multiple growing seasons, which is nice. We can grow a lot. The problem is we are in Florida and we have clay and sand for dirt. So nothing really grows in that much meaning we have to amend our soil. What we have done to um, kind of work around that is we have built some raised beds recently. I'll link the video here so that you can see what we've done. And we have to fill them up. Luckily, we have a lot of yard debris that we can use for it. So really it's, um, it kind of goes by the same concept as a uh, Hugelkultur or a Hügelkultur and so what we've done is we've used a lot of our yard debris and ashes from burning trees to kind of fill most of the bed up and we were lucky enough to find a local farmer where we could get some gold to plant with basically so I'll tell you a little bit about that as well we will be able to grow our vegetables in that really well so i'm gonna update you in regards to progress on that and in the meantime i'll just show you around the garden a little bit One of the great things about living in a farming community is you need to network and you will find many, many things that you need for a great price. Um, because of where we live in the middle of the woods, <laughs> we actually have access to free mulch, which is great because it helps with weed control. You can use it as a filler for your beds if you want to. And we can just pick it up down the road for free, which is fantastic. One of our more recent finds has been a local farmer who basically sells black gold and what he sells is basically cotton gin uh, composted cotton gin and we have been referred to him by another local farmer who uses it to grow his produce in and he swears by it so He's right down the road from us. He's about 10 minutes from our house. So we picked up some of that gold yesterday and um, did some work today to fill up our bits. watched any of our previous videos you know that we tried something out a little bit different with uh, instead of starting them out with a grow light inside we brought them out and just to see how it went a little bit of an experiment really and unfortunately we had a lot of tropical weather meaning tons of rain and the poor things ended up drowning unfortunately so they didn't make it the pumpkins did because, well, pumpkins need a lot of water, so they did really well. But for the rest of the stuff, like my beets and um, things like that, I have to, unfortunately, start over. Luckily, we still have a little bit of time to get them in the ground. So I'm confident that we're still going to get a, a pretty good yield out of what we're trying to do for the fall garden. So 
watch the space. The royal purple beans we planted and uh, started from seed actually are doing really well as well. They went into the old cucumber bed and what we did with this ground is besides what we had previously in there with the yard debris and the cow manure, we amended the soil with fresh rabbit manure and just look at these things. Awesome, right? All that mulch behind me and the, the dirt, you see all the dirt and the mulch right there? So the mulch was all for free, which is awesome. Our local utility company, as they cut down trees and limbs when they clean up, they mulch everything and they drop it off. So it's great and it's free. What more can we ask for? The compost that we got, we got down the road from a farmer that we got to know through another farmer and you know it's networking it's great and we basically we paid $80 for two and a half yards of composted cotton gin we can go up to the cotton mill and pick up cotton gin for free but it takes a while to compost so we needed compost now so we just paid a little bit of money in comparison to what you would pay for compost at a big, big box store, really $80 is not bad at all for two and a half yards. Um, if you want to compare that to a big box store, you're looking at a minimum of uh, two to $400, depending on what kind of compost you get. You know, you can get a bag for between $250 to $4. And um, in comparison, we're coming off pretty good. There's my audience hanging out. We got the ducks, we got the goats. We're back in the garden. And what are we gonna do? Plant some plants. They can't hear you. Plant some plants. Plant some food. We're gonna put some broccoli in the ground and some cabbage in the ground and let them grow. through for the day we're gonna take a break and get back to it tomorrow I guess the Sun is setting so it's been a beautiful day it's uh, been a good day <laughs> we've gotten a lot done um, if you have any questions leave them down below we'd love to hear from you please leave us some comments if you're new to the channel please uh, consider subscribing if this is something that you're interested in and following our journey of building this homestead up um, share with your friends, share with your family, share with people who like to watch journeys like ours. Um, and then we will see you in the next video.